Okay. Hi again. So now we're going to do tips and tricks. Um, just some things to mention here. You can right click and drag a Simulink component to duplicate it. Um, so if we wanted to make another integrator, right click and drop. That's another copy of it. You can double click blank workspace area or connection line to place text. So say I wanted to add this line here. Now that's added. Or say this is Ashley's simulation. We added that right there. You can adjust that text in the format as well menu. Uh, variables can be used in the sources uh, and the initial conditions if you're def you've defined them in the workspace. We've done that in all of the demos actually. And everything can be made easier by using an M file. You can always go up to the MATLAB window and file new and uh, say script and or new M file just depending on your menu and then use all the commands here if we wanted to say define tau and uh, plot all of that works here so I have a few examples of the M files through the demos that I've used so I'll go open one of these and I do definitely recommend using M files for multiple cases so here I've done the word sim, S-I-M, and then my demo name, demo3p2.mdl, and that would simulate it, um, and then the plot command uh, here, and grid on, hold, and gone through all the plotting uh, labels. So all I would have to do is press the run button up here, and that would run my entire simulation, make it a lot easier. Okay. Um, also, just know when you want to uh, plot your signals on the same plot uh, and how to zoom and when to use legends. You should always use a legend when you have multiple signals on the same plot, just to clarify things. Uh, the scope data checkbox that we mentioned before uh, on this here, we have a scope. We'll double click that and it pulls up with our window. We go here, this parameter is a second from the left, click that, go over to data history, and uncheck the limit data points to last. You can also remember use the uh, scope in place of your two workspace. By checking this box, the second save data to workspace, and then saying this is now data scope and make sure the format is structured with time. The default for the scope is, in fact, structured with time. So remember though, if you only have a scope, you don't set this setting, you won't be able to plot it formally. If you use both of these, you're good to go as long as you have the, the settings. And if you just use two workspace and you just trust yourself, um, <laughs> although I would definitely recommend having a scope, uh, you can also do plotting through the workspace. Okay. Um, for our purposes here, we would only technically need one or the other, but I would uh, definitely recommend having one of these set up uh, where it maps to the uh, to the workspace. Okay. Um, once again, make sure you use an M file if you're doing multiple cases. It makes things so much easier. The command sim and then your file name will run your simulation. The command set underscore param and then it open parentheses m your model slash block uh, in quote um, pr comma and then open quote again parameter end quote uh, or in quote and comma and then your value will set your initial conditions and then after your co code is all written you can just press the run command and execute so troubleshooting well your configuration parameters and all of your settings should be the very first thing you check make sure your time step size integration type and uh, is all set correctly
correctly and then make sure that your variables are all set up correctly before you simulate. Uh, check the signs on your summing junctions and game blocks. Just one negative sign can ruin your entire simulation, uh, your all of your output. Uh, your initial conditions uh, on your integrator block should be set up correctly and then your output blocks are definitely very important. Make sure those are set up correctly. Alright, so your questions here, um, if you have any, uh, feel free to comment below or send me a message here on YouTube or via email. That works. Um, so we've gone through all of this here, how to set up everything, label, um, and all the output blocks. Uh, one other thing I would like to mention, subsystems and organization. And let me just skip ahead really quickly. This is correct. Okay. So uh, subsystems can really make your simulation look great. It can very much uh, a cleaner So um, as compared to something tangled up like this. But you don't want to have extra bends in your wire if you can avoid it. Just make sure that uh, it looks as organized as it can so when you go through to debug or find any problems that uh, you, you make life a little easier for yourself. So um, also your plots here can add um, or hide rather a little bit of information that you might need. Something smooth is always good. Um, make sure you zoom in on the parts of the, the plot that are important something jagged like this is really what I mean here. You don't want to have these jagged edges. That means that your uh, your simulation step size is actually too big. So go through and make it smaller. That uh, step size equals 0 0.001. That should be small enough to give you a nice smooth plot with plenty of data points. Okay, and the scope tip that I uh, mentioned before make sure that that is set correctly and that your scope does not limit your data points so that you can see the entire simulation plot. Okay, and good luck with your simulation.